So in previous lessons, so we'll be able to watch this video back, but this, is, this video will go for a single dimensional array, all right? So just 1D array and a 2D array. Now, in a previous lesson with you, I did noughts and crosses, if you remember, all right? But if we've got to put a list of names, we need to know the difference between arrays and lists. Now, an array is a data structure that is used but it is the same data type, all right? The problem is, because of the way Python is set up, Python allows you to do different data types within it, all right? So if you are asked in an exam, explain an array, an array stores multiple <coughs> values of the same, all right, of the same data type, whereas lists, all right, as part of Python, allow multiple data types. All right, just so you're aware of that. Now, where we go on uh, creating, I know I could do this in Python, but you obviously need to know how to handwrite these in an exam as well. So if I create my first list, and we're just going to go for a list of names, and we're going to go equals. Remember, equals is your assignment. You are declaring it. And if I have a list of names here, I'm going to go through Ray, Francis. Uh, let's go for and Kevin. <coughs> So I've got four items in a single array. Just so you understand it, each item in your array slash list, okay, has an index. <coughs> that would be zero, that would be one, that would be two, that would be three. Now if I wanted to print out item, I wanted to print out, say, Francis, what I would need to do in Python is say print in brackets, names, and what I can do is use the square brackets to say the position. Francis is in position one, so I close that, and that is how I pick individual <coughs> items. Where it starts to get a little bit more complicated is when we have to make it two-dimensional, and I know that this is an area where many students struggle. So. Let me just show you how to iterate through a single list using a for loop and a while loop. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. If you understand how to iterate through a list on its own, this is going to help you. So watch. I'm going to say for i in range and I'm going to get the length of this list. So, how do we get the length of the list? It is len. So, I in range, len names. So, what I'm going to do there is len names. Alright. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to iterate through the whole list. The other way you could do it, instead of having len names there, what other thing could, what else could I have done? Yeah, so what would I put in there with this list? Yeah, but what, if I was just using a number, what would I put above it? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just do four, because that would go, it would increase it four times. Now, what I can do is use the index, so I can use the index of i, for names. In this case it was number one, or it could have been two, or it could have been three, to point. So you use this as a as a pointer. So this is your index, and you use it as a pointer to tell you where you're, you're at. Now by using i, i would start at 
it would go one, two, it would start at zero, but it would increase four times. So if I was to say print names, instead of doing a specific number, instead of doing a specific number, I use the I that I've iterated with <coughs> to do that. So I would go in there because I increases each time. I would start at zero, but increase four times. That's what it's saying. So it's going to go from zero to one to two ah, to three. All right. So you've got four iterations of that. So this number here is saying how many iterations you've got. Is that making sense? Yeah. So that's how you go through it as a single array. Do you want me to show you that as a while loop? So you've got two ways of doing it. What you can do, it's slightly different because we're going to start with zero. So what you do going through a single array as a while loop is you would need to set up some form of counter. So I would do counter equals zero. Good. And then what you could do is say while counter it is <coughs> less than len names. names. So that's going to iterate while that is less than the length of names. So I'm not doing minus one on this, and the reason <coughs> is, is because the length of it, wh what would the length of this be? Four, and I'm going to iterate starting at zero. So it's going to go zero, one, two, three. So I'm not putting anything else on the end of this. This is why I'm not putting less than or equal to. So while it's less, we're going to increase this. So watch, we're going to print counters value one, print names, the index this time I've used is, what's going in here? It's not I. It is counter Problem is that's going to stay there. So what that's going to, logistically, it's going to stay as it is. So what do I need to do to this? Yes, okay. I need to do counter equals counter plus one. That now means the first time counter is zero. The second time counter is one. The next time counter is two. Next time counter is three. All right. It will stop because if it goes up to four, be if that goes up to four, that will not do that. So that's how to do a single array with a for loop and a while loop. All right. I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to continue this as a second video to show you how to do a 2D list. All right.